Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lecture of favorable and unfavorable fractures of mandible. Let's start with the surgical anatomy. As we know there are mainly two groups of muscle, elevators and depressors. The elevator groups of muscle exert upward, forward and medial pull on the mandible such a way that you will close your mandible. One such muscle is masseter which directs the mandible in upward and forward direction and other muscle is medial pterygoid its direction of pull is in upward forward and medial directions the depressor group of muscle exert downward backward pull on mandible these muscles are digastric genioid genioglossus and mylohyoid usually both these groups work in perfect harmony but whenever there is fracture this coordination is lost and fracture takes place in this case the fragment of mandible towards the ramus is called as proximal fragment and the body containing the teeth is known as distal fragment so we'll see the classification now based on the direction of fracture and favorability of treatment favorable fracture is one in which the muscle pull will resist the displacement whereas in unfavorable fracture the muscle pull will distract and cause displacement of the fractured fragments based on this they are classified as horizontally favorable and unfavorable and vertically favorable and unfavorable fracture horizontal favorability or unfavorability is noticed by viewing the fracture in horizontal plane such as opg or lateral oblique view in favorable fractures the fracture line passes anteriorly and inferiorly in such a way that proximal fragment will not be able to move away or cause displacement here as we can see the masseter pull is obstructed by the distal fragment of the mandible that prevents the displacement of the proximal fragment in this opg also we can see fracture line passing antero inferiorly where the displacement has not taken place because this fracture is favorable in horizontally unfavorable fracture the fracture line passes posterior inferiorly such a way that muscle pull can cause the displacement of the proximal fragment here the masseter pull will cause the displacement leading to unfavorable fracture as we can see in this opg it is also seen in this 3d ct where the proximal fragment is displaced vertical favorability or unfavorability can be seen from vertical plane such as axial section in the ct in the vertical favorable fracture the line passes from buccal to lingual side in posterior direction such a way that the muscle pull will not cause displacement in this axial scan we can see the posterior lingual direction of the fracture line from buccal to lingual side that is not cause displacement that is favorable fracture same thing can be seen in this 3d ct view that we can see from inferior side of the mandible in vertically unfavorable fracture as opposed to the favorable fracture the fracture line passes anteriorly from buccal to lingual side such a way that the proximal fragment can be easily displaced from the muscle pull same thing can be seen in this 3d ct view of the mandible thank you